everybody, and welcome to a special Freedom Edition of Air Cool's Coolest, the only program dedicated exclusively to the old-style Volkswagen with that little extra sum sum. My name's Jim, and with me as always is my car league, Douglas. What do you say, Slug Dog? Hi there, folks. Tonight, we're inside a 1964 classic black Survivor who holds a 2010 Guinness World Record for the most people crammed into the old-style Volkswagen Beetle. And he's recently been dubbed the world's first abolitionist spokes car. Slug Nug, have you ever heard where they had those contests cramming everyone into one of these old VWs? Yeah, pretty hilarious, right? Well, that's what they used to do. <laughs> but tonight, our guest is going to share from his own story and tell us what he's being recognized for today. All the way from the foothills of Chula Vista, California. Come on, people, let's give it up for Miles, the abolitionist spokes car. M -m -m Miles! Oh, now. A little oversteer, maybe, but thank you, Jim, for inviting me on your show. And hello to you, Mr. Douglas. <laughs> How undoubtedly better I am to be connected with the both of you. Miles, first off, help me get a handle on this abolition gig of yours. Sure, fellas, it's real simple. It's about the people's car speaking up for the people who are being bought and sold for profit by none other than other people. Ouch. Ah, that's painful and embarrassing. I guess it takes someone of your type to call that out, doesn't it? So, Miles, how'd you get to be a spokes car anyway? Yeah, take us back a little bit if you don't mind. Well, I'll never forget in 63 when I came off the line and into service. There was this voice thundering on the sapphire saying the hottest places in hell are reserved for those who recognize a moral crisis yet maintain their neutrality. That silence is betrayal and that the demands of inner truth drive us forward even when the road ahead is hard and long. And gentlemen, that voice still rattles inside me like a dream that lingers. Oh, 1963? It's like 50 years ago. Yes, sir. I've seen 50 years of that hard road. And I've been bought and sold, bought and sold, and bought and sold again. I've been passed over, passed off, and passed along through changing times. I've endured many a sordid season of service and neglect, and in some of my darker days, I've even been used to deliver them greasy pizzas. Before they put me out the pasture, that is. You mean the graveyard, right? Well, in my case, it was more like a long, sinking nap. <laughs> but thankfully, one day I was discovered, trimmed behind the weeds I was pulled out and trailered home by an old hobby man with some extra time on his hand. But then there I sat, parked as a weekend project car, stripped and rusted, listening to CNN reports streaming 24-7 from the apartment above the garage. Now, many of them muscle reports were about people being treated for profit like they were guns or drugs. I think I've heard that it's something like the third largest criminal industry in the world. I couldn't just put my visors down and look away because that dream was rattling again and I could see that arm bending toward justice. So I sputtered up, self-started, and tore out of that garage on a mission to rescue even just one of those enslaved people. But still beyond the shadows of my past, prayed for a few extra horses, and found myself right in the center of the movement to end modern-day slavery. Man, you went from garage car to cars car, didn't you? Oh, yes, sir. I found my voice as the car of the people. When I started asking how many I could fit inside, if I thought I might just be able to set them free, I started with one, then another, and another, and before I knew it, there were bridges of rescue and relationship built with people all over the world. I am what I am, and do what I do for their freedom. Oh, hey, cool. You put the get and get away, dude. Exactly. Miles, thanks for joining us on the program and for a unique look at how people treat each other. Well, the way I see it, it's just one more to love. Boys, it's been a pleasure. Unfortunately, folks, that's all we have time for today. Until next time, everybody, I'm Jim for Air Cool Schoolers. Stay cool and good night. <laughs>